Your teaser. What is it that you're going to share with us? Okay, so today, my name is Archiza Zaidi. I'm the Regional Business Manager at WebTech Wireless. And what we wanted to do today was to share with you some of the challenges in the transportation industry that our customers are seeing. So customers like Cisco Foods, CF Truckload Logistics, FedEx, Clark Reefer, Port Metro, um, and, and really want to share with you how, as a seller, you can approach some of these prospects, these customers that you have, engage in a high-level conversation, a business conversation with some of the financial controllers, the operations managers, some of the CEOs, and really sh show how you'd be able to help improve their business. And so behind you, you have kind of a diagram of the customer's business uh, so that uh, the sellers get a better understanding of when they're talking to someone, some of the challenges they might face, right? Exactly, exactly. And we're going we're gonna to start off by, you know, when you're, when you're calling as a seller, when you're calling into an account, you have a script in front of you, but, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't really help you much, right? You want to you understand, okay, visually, what is, what is the challenge that the person you're calling or the person sitting across the table from you is going through? And what we wanted to share with you here was just walk through what they're seeing in their mind in terms of their challenges. Okay, so what we have here are the hell. This is the current situation of how a business is being run before they work with us. And down below is the heaven. It's just the truck to the invoice to uh, the payment from the customer. Right. right so. so I'll start off at a high level view just to give you an idea of how a lot of these companies work uh, in the transportation uh, construction industry. Mm -hmm. So you have your typically your guy out in the field, your mobile worker. So you're going to have him with his vehicle, be it a truck, a yellow wire, and a construction vehicle. And what this guy is typically responsible for, especially in the transportation industry, he has a, he has a list of paper forms he's filling out uh, at the start of the day, at the end of the day. These things might be pre-vehicle inspection forms, bill of lading forms, uh, post-vehicle inspection forms, uh, electronic logs, I mean, sorry, uh, paper hours of service logs, a lot, a lot of paper. And as a, as, a, as a financial controller, what you care about is that you know, he's taking 40 minutes per day roughly 30 to 40 minutes per day from what we've seen with some of our customers, filling out these paper forms. Um, he's sending them back to the office. He's either uh, driving back a couple of days later. He's either sending them via UPS or FedEx. They get back to accounts receivable, who then has a stack of you know, close to 500 to 1,000 invoices sitting on their desk. Now, what this accounts receivable person then has to do is go through all of these, make sure that it contains the right information, uh, but essentially they're taking these thousand pieces of invoicing and fit, manually entering it into their back-end data, uh, back-end uh, billing and accounting system, which may be something like SAP, which may be something like TMW, or which may be like an in-house uh, billing accounting system. Uh, so this person is dedicated, there's probably usually a couple of people here dedicated to manually entering this information. Uh, and that takes a couple of days. Um, during this process now, what happens is that once they've entered the information, they now create an invoice for the salesperson to go out and, and, and get paid, for the company to go to get paid. They create this invoice here, they send it to the customer, and then the customer has to go through their process to send the money to the company. So they be cutting them a check or wiring them uh, uh, some money. Okay. What the issues though are, is that as you're going through this process, as you can see, right, it takes the truck guy a lot of time during his day to fill this out. So that's overtime for him. Um, cuts into some additional deliveries you can do during the day. Uh, for the accounts receivable person, you know, it's the amount of hours spent clarifying the back and forth with the truck driver who doesn't even remember most of the time what, what he filled out. Um, the thousand plus invoices he's there doing every week, all the time required for that. Uh, but more importantly, as an executive, as a CEO, as a CFO, as a financial controller, it's, well, how much cash do I have on my hand? Um, how much do I have right now in terms of money that I can use to pay my bills, my payroll? How much do I have right now to be able to bid on new contracts? How, much, how do I know how I can do my strategic planning? Because right now cash is the lifeblood of, of, of any business and because I don't know how much cash I have right now, I don't really understand how I can plan for the next month, the next three months, the next six months. I may have some new contracts coming that I want to bid on, but I don't know how competitive I can get against my competitors. Um, not knowing your cash situation 
it, 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 it's a detriment in a lot of ways. Okay, so how do we help? Good question. Essentially, what our system enables these businesses to do is the truck driver has an electronic mobile data terminal in the cab. He fills out this information. He clicks send. The second he clicks send, all of that data is sent directly into their back-end billing system. Mm -hmm. And they're able to see in their back-end billing system in real time what transactions have been conducted, and they can create an invoice and have the customer billed immediately in real time, that same day. They don't have to wait. If a, an executive wants to know how much cash he has on hand, what he can do is he can simply pull up his back-end billing accounting system, he can pull up the, the quadrant system, have a report showing him how many invoices have been sent from the field that day, how that translates into a dollar value, how much cash he has on stop, that, that's going to be collected from the customer that the sales guys to call up and follow up on. It completely revolutionizes the process. Uh, you eliminate the driver 40 minutes per day. He's going off doing some extra work or saving you guys some overtime work. Um, the other thing too is that you eliminate those people in the middle that are doing a manual process. So you're looking at cost savings right there. I mean, typically these people in accounts receivable, are, they're averaging between 25 to 35K per year. Remove that saving, yeah, remove that cost. You get some additional jobs you can do, and then you have the ability for the executive now to know how much cash he has on hand. He has, uh, has the ability to strategically plan his business. Hey, I can invest in this area. I don't have to take a bank loan to cover my uh, expenses for the next three months. So what we've summarized here today in this conversation is, as a seller, we have shown how a CEO, a CFO, uh, a financial controller can benefit from having uh, the web tech say system which enables them to enables your customers to uh, shorten their days of outstanding sales it enables your customers to decrease their invoicing turnaround time the receivables turnaround time and in addition to provide visibility to your daily cash flow enables them to make